guys it's Katie and welcome to another weekly reading vlog where I let you guys know all of the reading that I get up to and other sort of things that go on in my life in a vlog sort of style. So today we are starting the week with Monday and I'm starting with a fresh new book today so this is an ARC but it is already released now so this is more than we can tell by Brigid Camera and I read Letters to the Lost um, not too long ago like two months ago and this book is a spin-off to it and I loved Letters to the Lost so so much it's like one of my favorite books of this year definitely so this is a lot chunkier I'm on a blog tour of it so I need to get a review done for it so I need to start this today and get it definitely finished before Wednesday so I need to get my reading a game on but I feel like I'm going to definitely definitely really enjoy this book so yes so that's the book I'm mainly going to be focusing on so today I've got a viewing of a place I'm going to view a place um, half 11 so it's like in half an hour's time and then after that I'm going to see if my nan wants to go to Primark because I need to get some new bras so it really is going to be like a girly sort of day so I'm going to see if she's up for that but if not I'm tempted to kind of just go on my own the weather is absolutely crap today which is why like my main light is on in my room as a source of light to do this video which you know it's not too bad because it's a it's a white light so yeah, and then I've got to film my World of Wizardry for March video and then I've got the box set that has come in the mail to film for the book haul. I've got some videos to do today as always on a Monday and I'm off this entire week. I booked it off as annual leave because I needed a holiday pretty damn soon. Not necessarily going anywhere, I just need time off of work and obviously I get paid for it. We get four weeks a year to book off. And I booked this week, I booked a week in June, I booked a week in August I believe and then I booked a week in November, Ben's birthday week, so it's all spread out throughout the year and I feel like it's going to be good, I can book holidays around it if needs to be like a summer holiday and so on and so forth, so yeah. So I feel like today's going to be a very productive busy day, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go. My Nan's birthday is on Wednesday, so today is the 9th. 11 so yeah, my nan's birthday is on the Wednesday and I've already got her birthday present so I need to, to get that wrapped up as well. I need to make sure I'm home for that. I'm going to try and do something nice for my nan's birthday if I can. So yeah that's all that's really on for today so I will leave you guys with this vlog section and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow letting you know what reading and anything that I got up to today. Hey guys, today is Wednesday. I apologise that I didn't vlog much. Um, so, if I'm honest, I am just, my head's all over the place. Reason being is because I'm going to be moving out next Friday. And this crazy and bizarre in my mind, and it means I need to start packing like the rest of my stuff near enough little by little each day so today I thought I would crack on with packing up some clothes because I've worked out that I've literally got like nine days left before I move in and that includes like the day of moving in so I've sorted out like nine pairs of trousers which I mean you know they can get washed if like desperate needs and we're meant to be getting like a heat wave next week so I'm gonna leave some shorts out just in case because you never know with like English weather so I'm dressed nicely today, <laughs> don't know if you can <laughs> kind of tell, but today is my nan's birthday. So yesterday I stayed the day and night at Ben's and then I came back today for my, my nan's birthday. So we've had a bit of cake and a bit of tea, my aunt's come over and I think my nan's, one of my nan's best friends is coming over later with her dog so they're going to socialise. So. I think when she goes home I'll try and see if I can do something with my nan that's like quite nice and productive maybe like watch a film together or something I'm not entirely sure so whilst my aunt is here look at that look at this pile of clothes these were all on hangers right so I'll just show with you this this is probably going to be like a really interesting vlog because I don't normally obviously do this weekly but this was the wardrobe that my clothes were in so I really really got this chest of drawers which has like my bras, my underwear, and my socks in. And then I've got like some cuddly toys, which I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I I'm, I'm think like they're like the least priority of bringing. 
and then in this cupboard here I'll show with you because I've pretty much boxed this up already I've got some DVDs and then I've got like my memory stuff so again my memory stuff my memory stuff isn't high priority so that can like stay here for a little bit until I sort myself out of my place and I'll just share with you my book cover because yesterday I went out and bought some boxes like plastic boxes for some books so if you want to come with me and as you can see I've boxed up all the books that are in here already so I've actually got my beanbag chair and I've got my broomstick that Ben bought me on our first date together and a soft box that I've left out for filming um, and I might bring this chair with me as well like we'll see so I've boxed some books up and then these boxes of books here were the books that were in the bookcase that you saw behind me whilst I was filming and the books that are in this box are my TBR for the month so I'm gonna have to just move that again uh, and then there's more stuff down here that I've packed up as well and then I've literally don't know which way where to walk around because there's just stuff everywhere I'm gonna just go this way and share with you this cupboard so this cupboard is yet so we've got my sleeping bed that I have with Ben's my makeup box and then these are like my nice clothes so these are gonna need to be packed away and on this top shelf on this top shelf I have my pajamas and shorts so that's like you know that could be like another day of packing and then everything that is on my desk is pretty much what I use every day makeup my daily planner and then my smellies and then in here I have my candles so I can easily box those away in here I've got some beauty stuff like makeup bags and makeup wipes and in here I've got my electricals, they're literally the basics of electricals because I mostly purged these um, drawers not too long ago so I've already kind of prepped and then I need to obviously box all of this and then in these drawers I've got stationery in this one which I near enough use all the time this is my bookmark drawer, these are how many bookmarks I have, it's crazy and obviously I've kept those in there because I use those and in this drawer it's another stationary door so that can all be boxed up here I've got another makeup thing like that contains a lot of my makeup and then we've got my TBR jars with my radio down there and look at my bed seriously I packed like loads of stuff into my suitcase like clothes that I don't want to fold like nice jumpers, nice tops sort of thing. Now I need to find a bag to put all of the hangers in. And then I've got a folder of this and sort out like nine t-shirts I want to keep for now. I've got my little handy folder. Everything under the bed is literally like my Xbox box that my Xbox in this cupboard will go into and my PlayStation 4 box, which that will go into. I've near enough done this shelf actually it just had puzzles which are on this shelf look how empty the shelf is now these are all my little ornaments that are on the bookshelf these are my puzzles and these are some empty journals which I use these are the trousers that I've picked out by the way um, and then I've got some other like TBR jars at the top here and obviously then I'll have to deal with my posters and stuff and there's a poster over there and that's just my bin and then obviously my TV there's my Xbox that PlayStation is in there so yeah um, I've been like super super busy I'm currently watching booktube videos whilst I do all this my room is a tip at the moment so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna fold some t-shirts and then I'm gonna put them in this box here and then I'm gonna find either a box or a big bag to put all of my hangers in because those are definitely coming with me to the place once I move in I'm gonna sort through my clothes I think it's just, it's too much for me to like go through and sort it all now, it's just, my head is just too everyone. I want to kind of like do a bit of moving and packing, but then also chill. So it's good that I'm off this week because that means I can do a bit of work and a bit of chilling. Which, you know, I didn't want to do work like whilst I was off. The whole point that I booked this week off is just to have some free time to myself and to just sort of like de-stress before going back to work on the Monday. 
so I don't want to do too much but it's weird that I've boxed all these up now and it's amazing to see that one two three these three boxes is what this little bookshelf holds and that's crazy really it's crazy but it's like really cool and kind of kooky and weird so eventually I think I'm gonna move these boxes and stuff down into the garage so it'll be easier to move on the day but once I box everything up I'll prioritise it um, and then I'll go into the garage and I'll prioritise it to which ones are the most important to take with me so I might see if I can somehow dismantle this bookshelf so that it can come down the stair this is my big one I'm pointing at by the way this big one because we assembled it in my room and I'm not sure if this can fit down the stairs it's quite long Oh my god, I've just made my room a complete mess, but at least I can be like really therapeutic now and I love folding clothes to watching booktube videos, it's kind of like a weird thing of mine. So I can now next fold some t-shirts whilst watching booktube videos and catching up on booktube, maybe listen to a bit of my audiobook because I've been listening to Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, I started it, I'm halfway through chapter 2 at the moment, I'm definitely finding it intriguing, it's different, I haven't read it before, so yeah, but I'm kind of liking it, um, William Herondale, really like him a lot, so yeah, that's all I've really been up to as far as reading, oh, actually no, that's a lie, I did start More Than We Could Tell by Bridget Kemra, and I'm like 60 pages through that and I'm really enjoying it, like really enjoying it, I've got a blog tour of that, Fucking hell, I've got a blog tour of that like tomorrow, so I have to do my post later tonight to go up tomorrow. Oh, that's crazy. So I'm gonna do some more of reading that later just so I can form more of an opinion on it. But yeah, I think all I'm gonna do with today is folding these clothes, packing away these hangers, and then I can settle down and read. But I will update you as soon as I've folded my clothes and put away the hangers and made my room look a bit more tidier. Might box a few more bits up as well. Like we'll see how I feel. Because I can always like listen to audiobook whilst I do that. But I'm so behind on booktube, that's why I wanted to do that. Anyway, this is a really rambly vlog, but I just wanted to update you on everything. Um, as far as like the flat is concerned. I've done all my paperwork, my references have gone through, the landlord just wants my nana's like a guarantor um, just in case of anything but I've already told my nan like she's never gonna have to pay for anything it's just like so that she's on file in case because I'm obviously moving out on my own so it's like having a little backup um, so she's got to fill in her little guarantor thing and um, yeah and then I should hopefully get the keys to the place I think next Thursday I feel like they said or next Friday I can't remember now like I think I'm working on Thursday so I don't know how it's gonna happen although my nan could pick up the keys for me if worse comes to worst but yeah like that's crazy like crazy to think that's really crazy can't believe it it happens so quickly I literally like viewed the property on the Monday and I fell in love with it and I didn't want it to go because properties in this place go really fast and it's 650 a month and it has a garage and a really roomy living room and a massive wardrobe and the kitchen is like everything I want there's a space with washing machine like <laughs> nice little double bedroom oh, it's, it's so awesome and I brought my name with me as like a little backup and when we got home I was like Nam what did you think like honestly and she's like I would have it if you weren't gonna have it so it was agreed and it, I'm glad that I brought my nan with me to like view it anyway this is a really rambly vlog for a Wednesday so I'm sorry this week's vlog is gonna be like really really big because I'm I'm moving and so much is going on this week so I don't know how it's gonna affect my reading I don't think I'm gonna read as much because I'm gonna be like packing for most of the day and then like reading for another half oh on Saturday I'm going to London for the day with Ben. I'm going to go see a movie. Um, I got invited to watch an advanced screening of Every Day by David Leverton, which is pretty handy. So I'm not going to say more than that, just in case like I'm not allowed to, because obviously I'm watching it before the release date, like a week before or something like that. So it's really exciting. We're going to go to London, we're going to go watch it, and we're going to make a nice day at London, because it's quite expensive. It's like £60 each to go to London and back from... Southampton it's crazy even trying to book it in advance last night I was like there was no discount 
this is silly all right i'm gonna leave this entry vlog and i will hopefully film for you guys once i've folded these clothes and sorted them so i hope you guys are having a good day wherever you are and i'll see you guys later hey guys so it's a bit later on just as i promised i managed to fold all my clothes and then i also did the cupboard with my pajamas in so that's like near enough like empty and i put like all my nice clothes in my suitcase so my nice clothes are near enough like flattened in the suitcase it's quite a big suitcase um like they're on hangers so that i can literally just take them out the rest um the clothes are folded in to here so i've got a little box and then i've got a carry bag so on top of here is like my pajamas so what I've done is in this wardrobe, just here, are all my clothes. So my trousers, my pajamas are there, and then in this side, I've got like some t-shirts that I'm gonna wear. And yeah, so in this cupboard, like I showed you, I've got DVDs and um, I've also got some memory stuff. So I'll probably leave the memory stuff here as one of the last minute boxes. And then in the cupboard over at the end, I've just got my makeup box and my sleeping box thing. And then, because I was on a bit of a roll, as you can see, I also, <laughs> I also changed because I can't really run around in a dress and I ended up ripping a seam whilst doing it. So I've taken down little pictures here and over here, apart from my calendar, because like, I kind of want my calendar there. I haven't touched anything like on my bed or on the wall over there yet um, but everything here is pretty much done so like I said I was on a roll so I did my desk so everything that's on my desk is what I'm using until I move so that's like my makeup that's my camera charger some creams swabs for my ears and face wipes and yeah, literally like things that I use during the day. And then I emptied all of the side drawers and the bits that were under this chair. So all I've got under this chair is my hair dryer. And these are like my book papers that I use. Um, so yeah, all these drawers are now emptied either side. So that's all done. And they went into these two big bags here. So believe it or not, this is what was inside my desk which is crazy. All my bookmarks are in that Waterstones carrier bag there. Put all my journals in a bag here. So basically it was just using bags to the best of my ability um, to what I could do. And then I just literally got to box the rest up really. I mean, all the TBR jars can just go as they can. And same with like the makeup carrier that can just go as well. And then everything on my bed will go into a box cushions can just be carried as they are I need to box things that are in this little side desk thing I need to box that my god it's a lot of boxing and then my jackets are on this door and they can just like go as they are so really I've done a lot of packing today so I think I'm going to leave it at that for today um, and maybe tomorrow I might start going into the garage and prioritizing things to what I need to go to the place first and then I can start taking these things down so for example like my desk items obviously I do use them so they're quite important to me so I'll put them downstairs in the garage ready to put in the cars so we've got Ben Ben's dad who's got a trailer me and my nan's cars so um, we've got a few cars that will be happy enough to help pack things um yeah i'm really excited um so my nan filled in her guarantor papers we dropped those off and put them in the post box and i gave them like my nan's id so like her passport and driver's license so that's all gone through so literally everything is done the landlord is happy um and yeah just next friday it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be weird but I'm really excited, like I'm really, really excited. So yeah, I, I honestly, yeah, I really don't know what to think, like with everything, it's just, it's mental and it's crazy, but I feel like it's gonna be really good, really good for me, really good for me mentally, and like socially as well. 
yeah just I'm feeling I'm feeling really good so yeah I've done a lot today so I'm really happy I haven't done any reading today so that's like what I'm slacking in but I've now got a sandwich and some crisps and a galaxy ripple so I'm gonna have some lunch even though I don't really have an appetite so I'm literally just gonna be forcing myself to eat something but I haven't eaten anything all day so I need to eat something oh yeah but look that my friends is all packed it's crazy isn't it so yeah I don't even know if I, if yeah I don't think there's any like videos I need to film so it's good because my bookshelf is currently like taken apart and then everything that's on that bookshelf will just need to be boxed as well or bagged it's not really like I mean actually everything on that bookshelf can go with everything that's on the bed just suddenly thinking so yeah I've done quite a lot today once I get rolling I just I can't stop so but I'm proud of myself that I managed to get a lot of this done today especially the clothes the clothes are like the worst and I have so many clothes like be all right if I lived like a proper single person where I had like 10 t-shirts and five trousers and like two jackets yeah that would be great at some point I'm going to need to go through like all my clothes again in my new place and do maybe like a little KonMari thing and be like does this t-shirt bring me joy do I wear this t-shirt do I like wearing this t-shirt or am I just wearing it because and things like that and then I can just like cut down on clothes although once I move into my place I'm not necessarily going to be buying any new clothes because obviously I'm going to be budgeting and my nan has said that when she does the food shop because I'm only going to need a little bit of food and, and like necessities because I mostly eat at work when I'm at work and on the days off I normally either go over to see Ben and I eat over there so really I don't need a lot so my nan's offered to just go buy like small necessities which you know be pretty awesome um so yeah i won't be spending much money on the food and when it comes to like bills i don't even think like my meter reading like for electricity is going to be used that much because i'm either mostly going to be working or like i'll be overseeing ben i mean i might have like a day or two to myself but yeah just i just want to move out i just want my own space um and i'm an adult now so it's something that i need to do so yeah that's that's all really for the moment so i am gonna settle down and read my books are like here next to me oh by the way ben got me these gillian chocolates and they are so nice like he's really thoughtful like that actually just like buys random stuff like whenever i come around he's like oh these are for you but he just finds them like last minute so yeah very 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 nice um so yeah i'm gonna settle down and read because I'm really just in the mood to just chill out. I've watched loads of booktube videos whilst I've been tidying. So it's now time for me to relax, get some reading done. I might have a bath later, just because I've been moving around like a lot. Like I moved around a lot yesterday and today, and I feel like my hair is starting, oh, I keep touching it as well, but like it's starting to get to that greasy factor where it needs a wash. So I might have a bath tonight just to relax. But I'm not sure what's going to happen this evening, whether like we're just going to chill or whether like my nan wants to do something, I'm not entirely sure yet. It will just depend how she feels, but either way I know my nan will be happy with whatever. So yeah, I'm going to end this clip now and I will see you guys either later tonight or tomorrow, letting you know any new things that have happened or any bits that I've managed to read and stuff. Whoa, what was that? There's like a little click something in one of those bags that's just moved. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try and get something down my throat. Like, I'm really, really not hungry. And I'm hoping, like, these crisps haven't, like, gone all soggy because it's been waiting here for, like, two hours now. And I've already made my second cup of tea, which is down there with my phone. <laughs> yeah, it's mental. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um... I don't really know like what else to add apart from I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so today is Thursday. Today is the day where I'm staying in because Ben's like really busy today. I was like contemplating going over there at some point later. But I know he's got a job interview in the afternoon, but he also like relax by hopefully going to his yoga session in the evening. So I'm like that's fine because I can get some stuff sorted here. So I thought today what I would do is do a 
moving day checklist like my own so what I'm gonna do and I'll show you because I've done some already I'm numbering things so starting from one two three four and then over there on my desk I've got like a list so I'm writing it down and I'm taking pictures of my books in every box so that I remember which books are in each box for when I move so that I don't have to scout too far or like look through all the boxes just to find the book so I'm thinking that's just going to be a bit more organised so yeah that's all I'm really going to be doing today so reading wise I started reading last night um, and I'm now on page 127 of this book right here and um, I did my blog post and I knew enough reviewed it so far because um, I am really really enjoying it and I'm really enjoying the writing and yeah so I did a review on like what I've read so far which is really good um, yeah really enjoying it so my blog tour post went up this morning and then I started listening to a little bit more of the audio but I kept waking up like in the middle of the night and my audiobook was like still playing obviously and I was chapters ahead and I was like no I don't want to spoil myself so I had to go back to what I last remembered yeah I was very, very unsettled last night um, but I'm now like halfway through chapter 3 which it's like let's have a quick look it's like page 61 at the moment so it's not too bad um, I had my shower <laughs> and I put like my blue conditioner in basically it's sort of re-blues the blue even though like my roots are kind of coming through again but like it just sort of tops it up with blue um so yeah so i'm next of all doing these boxes in here so, so this is my book cupboard as you can see it's like well echoey now because when i used to have loads of books in here it never used to like echo so much but now it's just like oh my god they're like nothing for the sound yeah so I've got two boxes down there and two boxes down there. So I've got my four numbers, I've got my foam ready to tape pictures and my tape to tape it on. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing next. So I will film next when um, I let you know what I'm doing after. So it's Thursday still and it's 20 past six in the evening and I've literally just finished numbering everything. So. I started in my room, like you saw, I numbered all my book boxes, then I did the book boxes in the study, and then I did the book boxes in the garage, and I took pictures of like literally all the books I have so that way I can know which book box they're in, which I thought was like quite good, and then I went on to numbering like everything else, so like I've got boxes of kitchen essentials, bathroom essentials, my halogen oven my washing line things like that so everything in the garage was numbered and i wrote it down on my little sheet then i went to do like anything that was in the house downstairs so like the bathroom like my dressing gown and my toothbrush and bathroom essentials and then like my jackets like my coat and then i went upstairs to my room and i numbered the rest of the things in here so like i've numbered these bags down here so like 79 and 80 <laughs> are down here um, and then I went around to numbering everything behind my little bookshelf and then I went into whatever was left in the cupboards so there's only like small bits so everything that's in the cupboards my door which are my hoodies and my dressing gown and then I started with the desk 109 and then I went around to these bits over here. So like my makeup, my TBR jars, my radio. This one is everything that's on my bed. And then I went around to the big bookshelf over there and ornaments. And then I went underneath my bed, my little stepper. And then in the cupboard I've got like my Xbox 360 and my PlayStation 4 and my Xbox One and then my TV. So that what we've got numbered. And like I say, everything under my bed, my new laptop in the stand, and my bedside table stuff, and my little bookshelf, my bag of bookmarks, and the final ornaments. See, and then everything that's on the bed. So, literally, everything so far is numbered. And I can tell you now, I have 132 things that I've numbered. 
but this is my checklist so it's my moving checklist obviously started with the book boxes so I can decide which ones I want to take with me first because when I counted all of my book boxes I think I have like 42 and I thought I had 30 so yeah and then I wrote a list of things that I'll need to buy for the flat so like washing machine, a small fridge freezer, sofa bed, a single bed and mattress and sheets, maybe a chair to like sit and read on but I can always like use the sofa for that so it's no, no worries really. Uh, a microwave, coffee table, dressing table for the bedroom with drawers in and a TV cabinet stand to have my TV on and I probably can think of like others so yeah I'm really excited so literally it's just going to be like okay bagging everything up the day before or two days before probably so I think I finish at four on the Wednesday so I can near enough bag up the rest of my stuff then and then on the Thursday because I'll be at work Thursday I'm in charge Thursday so I won't have time to do anything so I can like bag that up as I use it maybe and then just leave like last minute essentials like the clothes I'm going to wear on the day body spray hairbrush little things like that so yeah um but most things is packed. Mum, my god, I'm so sorry. Like, my gum, when my filling is up here, it's just started to really hurt again. I don't know what's triggered it. I give up. <laughs> give up with these gums. Brush them. And yeah, when they did an x ray, they found nothing wrong with it, just I had inflamed gums. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, I haven't done any reading since. I've mostly been sorting all this, but now this is sorted, I can have some dinner. And I can settle down, relax and read. I've done a lot of work today, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, so, yeah. That will be all for the production part today. Um, and I will hopefully see you guys later or tomorrow, letting you know the reading that I managed to get done. Hey guys, so it's Friday and I just want to update you on everything that's gone on. So today was a very productive day and a very mentally exhausting day. I have lost count of how many times I've shed a tear or cried today. It's just been like really emotional and sort of like hard. So it's like a week away from me moving now and we had to go get furniture because it's an unfurnished property. So we went to Salisbury to look at the British Heart Foundation shop and we found like, loads of bits there that would be so good like a single bed and cabinets and things like that and a TV cabinet and they don't have any drivers on the Friday and they won't have any for the Tuesday after and that's like four days later and I'm just like well, what am I going to do about storing my stuff and like where am I going to sleep and that so we went round to Curry's to sort out electrical appliances like a washing machine, a fridge freezer, a hoover and a microwave so we've got those sorted um, so the washing machine and the fridge freezer are going to be delivered on the Saturday so it's not too bad because it's like not like a necessity as much um, and then we went to Trussell Trust which is another charity furniture store and we found a few good things there so we found like a desk table which is a bit like my desk in a way where you got the gap in the middle and the three drawers either side but this one is it's a dark brown wood and it's got four drawers but the top drawer is like quite a small drawer but still it's like quite good for what it is it was like 30 quid I was like that's a bargain and then we what else did we get there coffee table and tv cabinet and we also got i feel like i got one more thing oh yeah a big chest of drawers to sort of like go either in the lounge or the bedroom um, and then we went back to the british heart foundation and we got the single bed and we got this like table stand that goes over the bed so that'd be good for like me to use my laptop on um, and we got a chest of 
drawers to go by the side of the bed which actually kind of matches the big chest um, and oh yeah and a small table with two chairs like a little dining table um, so like if anybody comes over then we can eat lunch together sort of thing um, so yeah so really all I need to get now is uh, I just need to order a sofa bed so that's if like Ben stays over or if a friend stays over because I'm only getting a single bed because it's only going to be a property for me and the bedroom's not like a massive bedroom and I feel like getting a double bed is just going to take up like a lot of space um, whereas like I'd rather have like a bit of like storage space if I can so um, yeah we found a nice single bed which is room underneath so I can store things under it as well so that's like pretty good um, so yeah I just need to order a sofa bed which I can easily get off of eBay actually there's some on there for like £89 which you know is a pretty good bargain for a basic sofa bed so I can use it as a sofa during the day and then I can fold it out into a double bed when Ben comes over or Frank comes over so yeah so that's literally the last thing I can order but I need to order that close towards the time because it's sort of like a next day delivery sort of thing so I don't want it to be delivered at the property when I'm not even there yet um, so um, I got told that hopefully if they get the document signed from the landlord they will like post to us or send to us sort of thing then um, I can sign the documents and it's all good to go for my nan to go on the Thursday to get the meter readings done and to collect the keys like the garage key and the property key and then I just need to double check that I just literally pay on the 20th of each month because I don't know some landlords or letting agencies are a little bit different that sort of thing um, so yeah um, it's, it's yeah it's been a really stressful day I'm um, just getting everything sorted because it's like a week away and I'm back to work on the Monday and I've only really got the Tuesday off to kind of like sort the rest of stuff because I'm back to work on the Wednesday and then I'm in charge on the Thursday I'm going to have no time on the Thursday especially to do anything so yeah I'm, I think I'm just if honest I'm really overwhelmed and even now I'm just sort of like starting to get a little bit teary and I really don't want to but yeah I think I'm just overwhelmed with everything because it's like a really big move for me and it's a really big thing for me to do and I don't know it's just it's, it's just it's weird like because a couple of years ago like I moved out with an ex for like six months and then we broke up and then I moved back home and I felt like I was going two steps back and then I thought I was failing at life and that's when I really hit depression and anxiety at like the peak that's when I went on antidepressants and that and now moving out again on my own it's like I'm moving forwards again and it's just it's yeah it's bizarre and it's weird I'm sorry I get really emotional um so it's yeah it's been a very emotional and overwhelming day and yeah I meant to be going over Ben's at some point today but he's exhausted he's been trying to sort out his mum because she's not well at the moment so he's mostly focusing on his mum really so I'm lucky to have had my nan <laughs> as support for today with getting all of the furniture and that um, but he's asleep at the moment so I'm gonna try and see if I can I'm gonna feel really guilty by doing it but I'll try and like give him a call to see if it's okay for me to come over this evening because we're meant to be going to London tomorrow to watch every day um, so yeah I need to make sure that things are good there but I've just had well I tried to have a little mini nap because I was really I, I really just I'd had enough of the day and I just wanted to go under the bed and just cry everything out like I felt like there was so much tension that I find when I cry sometimes it helps push it all out and I get all my emotions out so I thought oh let me have a little rest and I just couldn't fall asleep so what I did and said was I read so I managed to read a big chunk actually so I'm now on 283 of More Than We Can Tell by Bridget Kimmerer so look how far I am now like three quarters of the way I'd say it's a chunky book it's like 400 pages so it's a very chunky book all things considered I haven't listened to any more audio book because 
I watched Love, Simon last night and it was really good. I really liked it um, so much that I feel like I want to watch it again. And I also kind of want to reread the book because I read the book when it first came out because I had an arc of it. And I think I gave the book four stars at the time, but I loved the movie so, so much. Like, the movie was really good. And so because I watched the movie, I just did a quite, well, I don't know, not like a little bit of reading, not like a lot, but I'd say like 50, 50 pages. It was a few chapters of reading and then I dozed off and then I woke up and my mum was like, let's go get furniture today. So all things considered, especially that I've booked this week off as annual leave, I haven't really had time to relax properly. I don't know, it's just been too much going on. Um, obviously it's a lot of organising and everything. And it's a shame that I don't have like next week off as annual leave as that would have been ideal. There's so much, so much like <laughs> look at all this packing. <laughs> look at all this packing in my room. So I think like Tuesday and maybe Wednesday evening because I finish at four on Tuesday. I think I'm just gonna focus on like packing the rest of my stuff then. Um like everything that's on my desk that I'm not going to need really just leave like the necessities out like the clothes that I'm going to be wearing and like body spray and then as soon as I use the body spray on Friday I just pack it away like it's going to be like my basic everyday bag oh, yeah it's just very emotional very emotional um so yeah I'm, re I'm just gonna leave today's vlog as it is here um so I can give Ben a call to see if I'm coming over um, and if plans change then I'll let you guys know um, but I'm hoping that they don't change because I think I need to unwind and I think I really need cuddles from Ben and yeah just it's been really tough for both of us like me dealing with my place and getting things for it and then Ben with his mum being unwell so yeah, I need to make sure it's obviously okay for me to go because I don't want to go over if it's just going to be like everybody on the high sort of thing, like ready to bite each other's necks off sort of thing. So yeah, I'll leave the vlog for now and I will see you guys soon. Monday and I'm here to wrap up the weekly reading vlog for you guys it's really really long so if you made it this far I completely commend you a lot has happened which you know it's kind of exciting that it is so I ended up finishing more than we can tell by bringing it to camera I managed to finish this yesterday I think yesterday morning so Sunday morning I finished this book um, and I really really enjoyed it, I really enjoyed this book, I ended up giving it 5 out of 5 Kit Kats, so I totally totally recommend it, you don't have to read Letters to the Lost in order to read this, um, but obviously I think if you just want to like learn and love the characters from the first book, then I think that the enjoyment will be there more so if you want to read Letters to the Lost first and then go on to this I totally totally recommend for you to but it was really enjoyable and yeah I'm, I'm so grateful that Bloomsbury sent this to me but yeah it was really good so yes I'm happy that I managed to complete a book and so I went on to continuing Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare so I'm now as this moment on page 92 so it's not too far in really not too far in um, so today I was actually meant to work at 3 um, which is why I'm here filming this video I woke up 4 o'clock this morning with severe pain in my top back and my stomach and I've been to see the doctor and I've got some medication for it so that's why I'm not at work today so I was meant to work today um, but that's for next week's vlog so all in all guys that was all the reading and everything that I got up to I'm home for today and yes, who knows where this week's gonna go. I've got my tenancy agreement in the post today, so that's quite interesting. So yes, I've got a book haul to film because on Saturday I went to see Everyday the movie before release. I really enjoyed it. 
and you'll hear more on my thoughts about that uh, when I do a movie review on this um, so yeah that's all I will say for now so thank you very much for watching this video give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it let me know down below in the comments if there's anything you would like to know more about my life or anything and I will answer it as best as I can but I hope you guys are going to have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye